What's up YouTube? Today I wanted to look at my favorite camera review channels and maybe you guys would have seen some of these channels before. We're going to look at their statistics as well, how much they're actually earning every single week. This is an estimate but I believe it's pretty accurate the way that I'm working this out and you're going to see how much these guys earn and why I like these channels and they don't really need any more subscribers because they're pretty big some of these channels but if you like them you're welcome to go and subscribe and uh, yeah. I think this is going to be an interesting video. So let's get started with the list. So this isn't like in any particular order, it's just the camera channels that I like to watch and maybe you guys would find some of these interesting yourself. Maybe you watch some of these channels. The first guy I like is the Everyday Dad. I like this guy's channel. I think when I started watching YouTube a long time ago, he was one of the guys that I was watching pretty consistently. His videos just came up in my feed all the time and I kept watching his videos. He's really honest, I like the way he speaks, he's got a nice personality, he's got a lot of honesty in his voice and I like that about him. And he does this intro, now I love his intro that he does, let me try channel my inner everyday dad. What's up YouTube, I'm the everyday dad and if I can figure it out, you can figure it out. Now I know I said the Sony a6400 is my favorite camera, but I changed my mind. People change their minds, right? If you wanted to know, he's got 174,000 subscribers now and he's earning roughly $5,000 US per month. So not doing bad and that's on the lower end, not to mention all the products he gets sent every week. He seems to be, he used to do a lot of camera stuff, like back in the day he was doing the Sony a6400 a lot and I used to watch those videos. He's not really a camera review channel anymore, so I don't know why I've got him on the list, I just like his videos. But he does a lot of laptop stuff now and iMac reviews and I mean, if I was getting sent free iMacs and iPads and everything, I'd probably also do those reviews. So good on you, Everyday Dad. But Everyday Dad, maybe now and then you could do another camera video. Wouldn't, wouldn't kill you. The next camera review channel that I like, my gosh, this guy. Camera Conspiracies. Guy called Casey runs this channel. He's, I can't even say enough good things about Camera Conspiracies. I watched this guy. The first video I ever saw of this guy, he was doing like a review of the Sony a6400. And at that stage, I was looking around for another camera and I somehow landed on his channel. He's got the best and most insane personality, I think, amongst all the YouTubers I've ever watched. He's really not afraid to be himself and put himself out there. The first video I watched of that guy, he was like morphing across the screen trying to figure out what the autofocus was on the Sony a6400. That's what I like about him. He's kind of weird and I'm kind of weird so that's why I like camera conspiracies. This guy is just such a good comedian and I'd even go as far as saying he's probably a genius and just watch a couple of his videos. He's the kind of guy you want to watch when you're feeling bored with the regular YouTube content. He gives photographers a hard time. Tony 1.4. Just stand by that duck over there and I'm gonna take a photo. Loser. Loser. The interesting thing about camera conspiracies and his channel is when he puts a video out, he gets like 14,000 views within like the first eight hours. And that guy's got 67,000 subs, right? There's channels with like 500,000 subscribers that can't do that. So camera conspiracies, Casey's doing something right. Gotta watch his channel. Anyway, let's move on to the next one. The next channel that I really love is Make Art Now. Make Art Now, American guy. It's like combining the most cinematic movie you've ever watched with cyberpunk. He's really got a cool style of filmmaking. He's got this warehouse that he uses which is kind of lit really darkly and it's got this real cinematic feel. But his videos are so professional and unbelievably good to watch. But the first time I saw that guy he was doing a video about like an LED light or something which was like a year ago I think I watched his channel. The creativity that he showed just with that little LED light and the filmmaking quality that I was watching. It feels like after you've watched his videos that you actually need to go pay someone. I think the main problem with his channel is he doesn't upload enough videos. It takes him like a month to put a video up. And it's understandable if you look at the quality he's putting out. But Josh, man, Josh, we need more videos out of you. Okay? Yeah. They don't have to be perfect. They don't have to be A grade. B grade's fine too. I'd watch a B grade Josh Yo video. The next camera review channel that most of you would probably know is Potato Jet. I love Potato Jet. He's really funny and it's just like a feel-good guy to watch. I don't know what it is about that guy's channel, but when I watch one of his videos, I'm always in a good mood afterwards. He's really funny, really smart, really quick, and camera companies love that guy. He's got 699,000 subscribers and you can pretty much bet that most of his videos are going to clear 100,000 views. So he gets a lot of sponsored gear, but even though he is sponsored heavily by a lot of companies, I think, 
I still watch his videos and I believe in the review that he's doing. And he's, that's the thing, when you're a really big YouTube channel, people start throwing things at you and emailing you, you need to do this review, you need to do that review, you need to give us a good review. I think the products that he actually chooses at the end of the day are things that he would buy with his own money. So that's why I trust Potato Jet. Also a great sense of humor. If you're wondering how much Potato Jet earns, you don't want to know. Roughly 10,000 US dollars just from YouTube according to our stats. Not to mention sponsorships, camera stuff he sells afterwards that he gets for free. And Amazon affiliate. I can imagine the Amazon affiliate account that he has is just astronomically high. Fun fact about Potato Jet is that he actually started a YouTube channel a really long time ago. I watched the video and he said he got to a thousand subscribers and he deleted the channel. And later he came back and started again, the Potato Jet we know today. So he actually did all the hard work, got to a thousand and um, had to come and do it all over again. So the next channel that is really good for technical details is Gerald Undone. Gerald Undone! Do, do, Gerald Undone. Man, that guy's crazy. He's like a he's like a beacon of knowledge of information for camera gear to like the nth degree. Unbelievably smart, especially when it comes to camera, but not just camera stuff, just everyday things. He's got 166,000 subs at the time of making this video, so he's getting there and he's doing pretty well. He looks to be earning roughly three to four thousand dollars. A very underrated YouTuber that deserves at least a million subs in my view. So Hopefully he gets there one day, Gerald Undone, check his videos out. He'd probably be able to talk about how holding your shutter button in too long has an effect on global warming and also is killing the dolphins. I don't know, he's that kind of guy, really smart, really technical. He sometimes loses me like halfway, I'm like halfway in his video, I'm following everything he says and then I'm just like, oh, okay, I'm gone, he lost me. Don't know what he's talking about anymore. But anyway, but happy to know that Gerald Undone is growing quite well now, 8,000 subs per week, which is a lot. Probably the, one of the highest growing guys I've seen on this list. But anyway, the next channel I really like is Peter Lindgren. In my opinion, the king of B-roll, Mr. Peter Lindgren, Swedish YouTuber. If you've ever, I watched one of his videos where he did the scene of an office clerk who was quitting his job. Absolutely blew my mind. It was super interesting to watch. And um, he's also done that gambling B-roll video. I used to watch a lot of his videos. What I like about him too is he sometimes goes into his analytics. He talks from the heart. I like that about him. And uh, I think he was actually a forklift operator before he made it big on YouTube. So he literally started YouTube, I think like three or four years ago properly. So that's impressive. He's got 351,000 subscribers now. Estimated earnings, roughly three to $4,000 US per month, which is pretty good. 6,000 new subscribers every week. Really impressive. The next channel I really like, and one of the first camera channels I actually started watching was also Kai W. Kai W, I've been watching him for a while now. I don't watch as many of his videos, but every now and then one will pop up in my feed and I'll watch most of it. He's British and he's got this accent. I don't know if anyone's seen the Grand Tour Top Gear. He always reminds me of Jeremy Clarkson, the way he speaks. He's got The community doesn't give two craps when Panasonic releases something like the S1H. He's got this real thick British upper aristocrat kind of accent, and I really like Kai W. I miss Locke as well. They used to be on Digital Rev TV, I believe. Locke and Kai were together, and I'm, I'm so... Like, it's really cool when you see those two together, because they're just perfect for each other. Locke and Kai, really funny together. And the way they walk around doing some street photography, Highly recommend their channels. Kai also has 890,000 odd subscribers, which is just insane. He's only earning about $4,000, but I think he gets sponsored as well to actually do this full time. I think I watched a video one time that he was getting sponsored to do this. So who knows how much these guys really earn, but doing pretty well, that's US dollars. The next channel that I really do like is DP Review. You might know DP Review, they're pretty well known. The guys are Chris and Jordan, they're pretty fun to watch. I like watching the videos. They go to these like small town feel vibes and they got like a nice tree behind them or something. It's always in the outdoors. They really know their camera gear and their camera stuff. Chris and Jordan, and I think they left Camera Store TV back in the day and they sort of joined DP Review. Like I'll always watch one of their videos and I'll watch at least 10, 10 or 12 minutes of a video. They just keep you watching because their knowledge is really depth. So DP Review's got 259,000 subscribers at the moment, earning roughly 5,000 US dollars just from YouTube, not to mention Amazon affiliates as I said, and gaining 1,500 new subscribers a week. So the next channel I really like, which I don't watch as much anymore, is Tony and Chelsea Northrup. They're a really good team, husband and wife team. They've been doing this since I was born probably. Really big into photography, and if you want to know like the basics of photography, I think they've got ebooks and all kinds of things. I think according to them, they have the most sold photography book on Amazon. I'm not sure, something like that. But they've got really in-depth knowledge of photography. Tony Northrup, 
knows his stuff, as does his wife about photography, and I think they're really good people and I like watching their channel. I like the way they bounce off each other. I don't think they need any more subscribers or money, but uh, yeah, 1.4 million subscribers to Tony and Chelsea Northrop. Roughly earning about $8,000. I think at one stage I worked out with Amazon affiliates, it was way, way, way more, about double that. $20,000 a month US, which is unbelievable if you think about it. But Tony, you think you could send me some of that old camera gear? I'd really appreciate it. Maybe you can send me a salary while I'm at it as well. The next one I like is not really a camera channel, but kind of a drone channel and it's Flight Path. I really like this guy, Eldrin Estacio from San Diego, California. Really like his channel and I just like the way he speaks. He's got this really deep voice and... Is that something that they introduced on the Pro Platinum? I don't know, he's got this really soothing voice. When I listen to him, I always think, man, I like watching this guy's channel. He does a lot of drone stuff. Every now and then he does some action camera stuff and I like his videos. I remember watching one video of him where he was just like... He had like three drones in the air and he was testing which one's battery would run out and which one was the most noisy. And his videos and his tests and his tutorials are just really well put together and he's got a nice vibe about his channel. There's something in his voice that I just trust and he sounds really honest and like if I was ever on the run or something, I'd go to his house, knock on the door and he'd help me. You know, he's that kind of guy. He also sounds like the guy from Everyone Loves Raymond. He's got that voice. Similar as far as like the specs that we saw on the- Hey guys, welcome to Flight Path. Aldrin Nastasio here. We're gonna be testing the Mavic 2 Pro Platinum against the Mavic Mini 2 today. We're gonna see which battery runs out fast. Aldrin Nastasio, watch his channel. He's got 196,000 subscribers now, earning roughly two and a half thousand US dollars and not to mention all the drones he gets sent. Can you imagine every time he gets sent a drone, he doesn't need that drone again. He just sells it. Makes a thousand dollars. Everyone's happy. That's the way to do it. I'm sure there's another 10 or 20 more really good camera review channels that I didn't mention today. And there are others that I watch, but leave them in the comments if you can suggest any to other people who might be watching this video. So I hope you enjoyed this video and see you again next time.